What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, my name is Amanda. We are back with another Zara haul. I know that the color palette here is not the most cohesive, but sometimes you just need a little bit of this and a little bit of that. So that's what we're doing today. Zara is coming out with some stunning pieces that I am so excited about. Let's just say that I have my cart full of the next haul that I'm planning to do because some of these pieces are that fire. So let's stop talking and let's just jump into the haul. Okay, we are not moving a single step until we talk about this that I'm wearing right here. And I'm so glad that I put it on to wear for the video because I found kind of a happy accident with a different way to wear it. Um, so what I'm wearing is essentially a off-the-shoulder dress that yes, this is a dress um, I saw it on the model online and I was like immediately. Yes immediately. Yes If you guys have been to my channel before you know that I love some beige and orange pieces together I've done it many times. So I envisioned this dress with my orange heels and I even have this vision of like walking you guys through my new house with this outfit on and my orange heels and just having giving it its moment that it deserves. And by the way, if you're new here or you missed a couple videos, I have a vlog that I uploaded with a life update, including details of the new house that we're building. So go check that out if you haven't already. This dress is honestly everything that I love. It's a dress, so it's sexy, but it's in a casual way. The way that it's styled is just chef's kiss. Um, I love that it almost looks like a t-shirt that was tied or cinched in at the waist with the shoulder kind of like drooping off the side. It's even pinned to be rolled up right here. By the way, if you hear any noise in the background, my son and my dog, they just won't let up. So please ignore. This is very flattering. This kind of shape is flattering for anyone, especially if you are someone who is, I don't know, insecure about this part of your arms. I know for me that anytime I gain weight, the first place that I see it is right here. And you know, because of my injury, if you don't know about that, that's in my vlog too. I've gained a little weight. And so that's an area that I tend, I tend to reach for things that cover those areas. So this is very flattering, covers me in the places that will make me feel more secure. So as far as the color, I don't know how it's picking up on camera, but it is beige with a tinge of green. And I know that sounds weird, but if you compare it to another true beige, like a cool beige, you'll notice that this one pulls a little bit greener. This material does have a little bit of stretch, but it is pretty structured. It's not a cotton material. It's sort of like, um, it's just, I don't know if you can hear that. It's just structured. So for the reason of just kind of analyzing the fabric, I sized up to a large. So glad that I did because it gives me the perfect tightness at the waist where it comes in and enough room for my butt. It will, I can tell though, if I'm walking around, it's gonna ride up a little bit. And you know, that's just what us girls with curves have to deal with. It's inevitable. The style of this is so chic, so flattering, but also really cool at the same time because of the casual look of it. You have a pinned detail where it just kind of looks like somebody sewed the t-shirt, like they sewed a t-shirt right there. It has the same thing in the back of the dress, so you really get a nice hourglass shape. Even if you don't have that shape naturally, I feel like something like this will definitely give you that type of shape that you're looking for. So if you're slimmer and you look for things that try to give you a little bit more body, a little bit more hourglass, a, you know, give a little something like that, this is probably a good piece for you. And if you are slimmer, I would probably say maybe stay true to size because you don't have the big hips to worry about taking up all the extra space on the bottom. The happy accident that I was talking about before is I just threw this on. I'm wearing sweats on the bottom. You guys, this is YouTube. Us YouTubers, we wear sweats on the bottom when we're filming. Fun fact, if you didn't know that. And so I just threw this over the top and just kind of like pulled it up over my hips and it actually looks really nice as a top too. So I will attempt to style this in the try on clip as the dress and maybe as the top, if I can find something that I like to go with it, I'll kind of show you guys what I mean by that. So she has some dual purpose, okay? Now, the next one, she is the star of the show. She deserves an entire moment. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I shared this dress on Instagram. So if she's sold out right now, which I hope she's not, um, 
First, I recommend saving it to your favorites because you'll see when it comes back in stock. Second, don't say I didn't tell you so because I shared it on Instagram well before Valentine's Day. I know I'm showing it after Valentine's Day, but it's definitely like an occasion dress that is good for several different types of occasions, which is why I can justify having something like this in my wardrobe. I feel like the cut of it is timeless and the material of it First of all, Zara did her thing with the material on this because it is structured, thick, and just very good quality. If you remember during Christmas, they had a dress just like this, but it was a velvet color, gorgeous, stunning, same dress, just velvet red. Um, they also have this on their website right now in like a mauve color, pinky, a very light pinky mauve. So they're definitely thinking of spring and I think that would also be really great for spring events. Um, but I see this as being more of like a nighttime uh, event dress, occasion dress, date night dress. It's simple, but it talks a lot in the structure and the body of it. Um, so let's get into the structure. I feel like she just looks like a tulip. Like I feel like I'm wearing a tulip when I love when I wear this and I'm here for that. So it comes in very nicely at the waist, comes out at the hips. So again, if you're someone who doesn't have a lot of hourglass shape, but you want that look, this is a great dress to try. I don't know how it's going to work on every other body type because I only have mine. But from my perspective, I think that it will look great if you're trying to achieve that look. Uh, the only thing is, if you don't have very big breasts, I feel like there could be some gaping here in the top. If you notice online, the model has gaping. It's it's kind of loose on the model, so I think that it's okay. Um, and I think they intend for it to have that look, but I just like it more fitted. So I stayed true to size in a medium and it fits very nicely at the waist. It's hugging very nicely. I still have room though, so I'm not suffocating in my true to size. I was also afraid that this was going to be very short, but I tried it on and I didn't feel like it was too short. I haven't walked around in front of the full length mirror or anything like that, so I will confirm that. But as far as from when I tried it on so far, it doesn't appear to be too short. And it has a zipper in the back right here, which goes down pretty far. It's not hard to zip up. It's not that hard to zip up, um, but yeah, I think that she is stunning. The structure is not gonna give, you know, it's nice structured, just, timeless beautiful women like grown woman dress okay everyone needs something like this in their closet the next couple pieces that i'm going to talk about are very exciting and really drove this haul for me besides this dress okay and the top i'm gonna be honest one of the pieces i was not sure about at first but i love it let's get into the bottom part of this outfit that i'm going to show you guys first i picked up this gorgeous skirt and I love things like this because it has cargo pockets on the side. You guys know cargo is back with a vengeance. She is not going anywhere. Um, so, and I love cargo because it gives, especially in something like this, because it's giving dressy, but dressed down, which is me. And this color is a gorgeous, like off-white, cream that's not it doesn't pull yellow or anything weird like that the button is gold it has a zip in the front and this is the back of it so you can see that it's a skirt got the shorts there so you don't have to worry about flashing anybody love to see that it also has belt loops so if you wanted to throw a belt on with her you could definitely do that i think this would look really cute with a belt now a couple different ways that i can see wearing this are dressed up with you know that a drapey top that i'm about to show you guys some beige heels and a trench coat for a spring woman on the go kind of a look um, another way that you could wear this is with some sneakers so like i said the cargo pockets dress it down so you could easily do something like this with sneakers because of those cargo pockets um, i think this would look so adorable in the summer with maybe like a knit white tank top that Zara has online right now. I probably will get that and maybe some white sneakers. I did size up in this and got a large. I don't think that I really have to explain too much about that, but you know, I really wanted the flowy look. I didn't want it to cling in weird places. I wanted it to be flowy and just elegant. So I sized up. I think if you want a more fitted look, if you're comfortable with that look and style you could definitely stay true to size but it doesn't have a lot of stretch so depending on your waist to hip ratio you know you may have to size up 
all I can say is I sized up and it works well for the look that I was going for. As far as what I envisioned originally wearing that skirt with or the outfit that I was thinking about, I, I'm sure you guys have seen this online if you shop Zara a lot. This is that drapey top with the hood in the back, which is kind of weird, but also cool. If you're into fashion, things like this probably excite you just like they excite me. It's just an element of something very unique and cool. And I don't know, just a little bit of something. It gives a little streetwear to the top too, especially because the fact that it has the drawstring that you see on parachute pants at the bottom here so you can crop it up a little bit more you can loosen it up but you still get that uh, look of the parachute cinch thingy that i'm thinking of in my head i'm getting a dressy a little sexy kind of stylish grown woman drapey top but i have a cool streetwear element to it with the bungee cinch at the waist and the hood in the back so i just love the combo of those things and i did get this in a large because i was a little worried that it wouldn't give the draping effect that i want i do like it in the large could i have stuck with my true to size and gotten a medium absolutely and i love it i could see myself wearing this with parachute pants too a pair of jeans in the summer that skirt that i was showing you guys so very excited about this piece and i love this off-white cream tone that does not pull yellow at all Zara did their thing on the color tones. For that skirt and top outfit, I'm pairing it with the trench coat that I picked up in my last Zara haul. So the details and the link are in that video as well, but I will link them in this video too because this trench coat is just honestly stunning. It's perfect for spring outfits, hence the outfit that I put together with it. It also looks really great with blue jeans and a white t-shirt and some white shoes maybe a baseball cap if you're feeling like you're not having a very good hair. If you guys have been here for a minute, you know I love a good graphic t-shirt. Zara is coming out with these Greek art graphic t-shirts. I, for one, love Greek art, have always loved it, so I love that they're incorporating it into t-shirts and giving us some streetwear with art. I also love the fact that it has this green line in it and then this is the back of it. I could definitely see putting together a casual summer spring outfit with this t-shirt, maybe a pair of jeans, my green cap, which I always look for things to wear with my green hat, so this is why I picked that up, some sneakers or something like that. It's just something very easy, but it looks put together because of that green element. If you pair it with something else that's green, you just look like you're really you know, put together, but you're casual and you're not really trying too hard. So I love things like that where I don't even have to think about it. I can just throw it on and know that it looks good, casual, comfortable, perfect for summer and spring. All right, so in my last haul, I showed you guys those navy blue parachute pants, and I was telling you that I really wanted the top to go with it once I saw someone else wearing them together. And I picked up the top because it finally came in stock and I'm actually excited because I discovered some things about this that I didn't even realize. Um, I did get this in the medium to large. So if you're confused on what I'm talking about, you can check out my last Zara haul, but I'm gonna pair them together, see how I wanna style it. Um, it buttons all the way open down the front. You have the bungee cinch at the waist. Something that surprised me too is that the side of it is buttoned together, but you can unbutton it to give it a looser look and kind of relax it a little bit, if that makes sense. So when it's together, it just looks like that. It's clipped on the side here. You have the armhole right there and then the bungee cinching thing right here. The back of it has just sort of this band. And then I left the other side of it open. So there it is open right there. Not only would I get good use out of wearing this together with those parachute pants and maybe some white sneakers, silver hoops for a very casual but feeling put together outfit um, and comfortable, love that. But I could also see wearing this because it, it almost reminds me of like a puffer vest or just sort of like a vest that you could throw on over a long sleeve t-shirt. So I think, and I haven't tried this yet, but I think it would look really good with a white long sleeve t-shirt, some blue jeans, and then just throw this over white sneakers. And then you have a cool outfit 
that's it for today's Zara haul. I really hope you guys like the pieces that I picked up. If the next video isn't a Zara haul, I am putting together that spring outfits video. So I'm gonna be using a lot of my new in pieces to style different ways to give you guys a little bit more inspo because I can see that you guys pick up some of these items through the links that you click down below. So make sure you check out the links down below. It helps to support me and continuing to make these videos. So if you like anything, click the link down below. Anyways, I'm really enjoying getting back to making my videos. I missed you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.